Hello and welcome to EMP Power Sports and Marine in beautiful St. Mary's, Idaho. Today we're going to do a walk around on my 1974 Voltaco Model 115 Alpina 250. I submitted this bike to Bring a Trailer Auctions and it was accepted. Uh, this is a bike out of my personal collection. I run a restoration shop and this bike came in and it was just, it's too nice to part with, but I'm starting to let a few of them go. First off, it's an original bike. This is unrestored. It, this is all original gel. It does have some patina. It's not perfect, but it's original. Has all its original decals. The seat cover, foam and pan are all original. It's once again, not perfect, but extremely good shape. Still sports the original aluminum fenders, which you never see. Has the original headlight, which is in great shape. Original Boltaco grips. Original Boltaco rubber on the kicker. Original Boltaco flap. Still have the Akron stickers on both the front and rear wheel, which are usually gone in one power wash. I always wash this bike by hand. You almost never see those. Have the original decal underneath the tail flap that says 250cc. So it does have all the original decals on it. The original owner did this beautiful custom leather work for the tail light flap, headlight mounts, and for the tool kit. This was done when the bike was new. It's part of the bike. Here's a tree with a rattlesnake, kind of a cool desert cactus scene. You can get the original rubber flaps if you want them. If you want to go back to original from Hughes Bull Taco, he still makes reproductions, but I would leave these. This is original to the bike. This was done when the bike was new. It's part of the bike. The bike is legal in all 50 states, road legal. So you can ride this bike on and off road. It's mostly been a pavement princess from what I can tell and from my ownership. The shocks have been upgraded, but I do have the original shocks right here. Somebody also put a spark arrestor on it. I don't have the original silencer, but they are out there. Other than that, the bike is pretty much original. I have an original owner's manual for the bike, an original parts catalog for the bike. reproduction service manual that goes with the bike i have some of the ownership history i'm the fourth owner the original owner was a william convalinka and his wife judy william kept the bike until his deathbed he was from santa Ana, california when he passed away a collector in seattle purchased the bike from the late owner's family then a guy i know in bellingham purchased the bike several years later from him and could not get used to the right hand shift so I was able to acquire the bike from him a couple years ago. It's been in my personal collection ever since. Since the time that I've had it, I've replaced the entire ignition system. It has a new coil, wire, cap. I've replaced the spark plugs uh, a couple times. I usually do one a season. I've replaced the condenser when I did all that, as that's part of the ignition system. I also replaced and set the points. So that's all new. I replaced the uh, sprockets and the chain. Replace the rear brake switch. I replaced the tires and tubes with Pirelli MT43s. The front has a 2020 production date. The rear has a 2021. So the tires are nice and fresh. Replaced the air cleaner and I've oiled it every couple of rides. I've also changed the gear oil and clutch oil. This bike actually takes MTL80 uh, in both the clutch and transmission. There's two fill holes and two drains. So make sure you, you do that. Replace the airbox coupler. Replace the stub spacer. I rebuilt the carburetor when I put it away last fall. So this carburetor is dry. The gas tank is dry. It has a fresh um, internal fuel filter. It has a fresh inline fuel filter. It also has a, uh, a fresh bowl gasket and fresh float needle. So the carb's all cleaned out, ready to go. If you're going to ride the bike, I'll put gas in it. Um, although it should be stored dry, I only run non-ethanol fuel on this bike at a 40 to 1 mix with Castor 927. After every ride, I completely drain the gas tank as these are fiberglass. Do not put ethanol gas in them. It will destroy them. This, this gas is uh, solid. It does hold fuel. There's a video of me doing a small portion of the Idaho BDR that's uh, in the listing along with this video. That was uh, done, I think, last May of 2022. I've owned six or seven Bull Tacos. I think by far this is the nicest one I've ever owned. 
I think you'd be hard pressed to find a nicer one. I do have a clean Idaho title in my name. All I want to do is wish you guys a happy bidding. Hopefully you guys will bid this bike up and it'll be appreciated by the next owner as much as it's been appreciated by the uh, three prior caretakers to me and myself. Thank you.